Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical engineer and today we're gonna watch Steins Gate episode one to see how accurate all the signs and technology in this anime really are. Steins Gate has been one of the most requested animes right after Dr. Stone and since we finally finished season one, I really can't wait to get into this anime because it's been so highly requested and what I know about it is that it has something to do with a time machine and everyone has told me that it's just really, really interesting and that this is something like engineers would fall in love with. So I'm really excited to get into it. Let's do it. That statement is worded very, very well. Space has a beginning, but it has no end. Outer space does not have an edge, and although the universe is much larger than what we can observe, it doesn't mean that progress has like stopped. It's still very much provable that the universe is expanding. Picture ants on a balloon. If you take like four or five ants and you just put them on the surface of a balloon and you start like blowing into it and it begins to expand, the ants will think that they're on a two dimensional surface, but we as the observer can clearly see that they're walking around on a sphere like shape, which is the balloon. And the more you inflate the balloon, the larger it expands, the further away each of the ants gets from each other in every direction. And the further away they are, the faster they're moving. In that example, the balloon represents the universe and each of the ants represents galaxies. Think about this for a second. Pick a starting point on Earth and then imagine that you're on an airplane taking off from that one point. If you just continue to fly in one direction, eventually you'll loop all the way around the Earth and you'll end up right where you started. And the universe works exactly like this. If you have one starting point and you just keep on going forward, you will, it may take a very long time, but you will eventually loop around and you will end up right where you began. If this was the unveiling of a time machine, why is it in a university classroom when like no one's in there? Like I, I feel like if you were gonna like tell everyone you've actually invented a time machine that it works, it would be in like a much larger venue and there would just be packed with people. I mean that is one incredible invention. Metal Auction is I do like how the first thing this guy thinks about is like to sell it because his lab needs funding. Whenever a, like a professor or someone who works in a university is asking for funding, it's really not as easy as you might think it is. Whenever you're researching something that's very, very specific as most professors are, like th when they're asking like these big questions on how to solve these complex problems and they want like a machine, usually the machine that they order or that they want built is very, very specific for one purpose. And that's why all these scientific instruments and tools are like crazy expensive because there's not very many of them. For one, they're really tough to like make. For two, you have to ship them from wherever they are to get to their final destination. You have to set it up. And usually, if you're working in really high power devices, you can't just plug it into an outlet. Like you don't have to get a whole separate power source just for that machine. And there are times where you can't even turn it on unless enough other like places have their power off. The most common example that comes to mind is the Hadron Collider. There's not really many of those because it's really, really hard to replicate exactly the experiments that scientists need to do to answer the problems and answer the questions that we have. If by existing in a monitor, that they mean like the simulation theory, that's... I can see both of their arguments having some merit. With regards to the simulation hypothesis, it really comes down to how do you define real. 
Because if you're in a video game and you're actively playing like on the internet, for example, then your character is real, right? And you're going to interact with other characters and they're going to have legitimate interactions. And then if you're online, then you can interact with other people who have their own characters. And while those characters might not be real, I mean, the people who are operating them are right so if you take the, that same like uh, mindset and you put it into where we are living right now there's a pretty good chance that just life as we know it is us like playing out a simulation on a video game screen that someone else is watching but to the point of the assistant or whoever that dude is like on the computer if we were to discover that this is a simulation then what I mean, for one, it's going to be near, I mean, I don't know how you would ever prove that we were, but for another point is if you could prove it, what difference does it make, right? It's not like life is going to change at all. Or you're just going to continue living how you always have been. Okay, satellites don't just crash like that. Um, for for like for them to actually like come back through the atmosphere, a lot of it will be burned out. And this one has like perfect curves around. I actually don't know if this is even a satellite. I'm not even convinced of that. But for one, I also want to say, or for second, secondly rather, it's how how is everyone just so calm? Like everyone's like just taking pictures of it with their phones and just going about their day like there's not this giant thing in the roof of a skyscraper that's like beating the hell out of it. And I I really don't know how everyone's just so relaxed about this sort of thing. If a satellite was to just crash into Earth, which is highly unlikely, but if that were to happen, there would be mass panic. And there will be just debris everywhere, there will be fires, and there will just be so much more going on. Like, how did this end up in that building, and how is everyone just so nonchalant about it? Like, yeah, this is like an everyday thing on a Tuesday, we just have time machines or satellites inside of our building. That is probably one of, maybe not the most, but it's up there with the most useless invention I've ever seen. Like, why would you need to control your microwave from your phone? Like, if you're gonna microwave anything, you have to be right next to it to put food in the microwave and close the door anyway. Like, well, why would you put food in there, close the microwave door, then just walk away and get your phone? Like, I mean, you can just tap the, I, like, he, he's crazy. He's a really weird dude. Is this the research that he's talking about? Like, is that why he needs, like, the 10,000 yen to sell that little, like, toy to, like, fund what exactly? Like, what is he doing? I've also never microwaved a banana before, but what the hell is that? Like, and also it doesn't get warm and it doesn't get cold. So I don't know what this guy just made or why those bananas look like ooze, but I'm not, I don't know what exactly like life problem or engineering solution this guy is trying to come up with. Like, it just seems like he's insane and he really has no clue of what's going on. And he's created like this whole world for himself in his head. Like the organization's out to get him and for some reason he has to make this microwave work. So does that mean that he had, okay, so Okreen had sent a message in the past about a girl that he didn't know was going to be stabbed in the future? Does that make any sense? If, if anyone knows like how to actually like tell me how this whole text thing works in the comments, let me know because I'm kind of lost here.
wait, that was it? <laughs> that was the whole episode? How is she alive? I'm not really sure what to tell you guys because I don't fully understand what's going on myself. I thought she was like, okay, so. Okay, uh, no, no, I I thought I had an explanation. I do not. I can say with 100% certainty, I don't know how this girl is alive. I don't know, I don't know what is going on in this anime right now. I'm sorry I couldn't give you guys really anything. I truly don't know what's actually happening. I wish I knew more, but uh, let me know in the comments, people who've actually seen this, how did that whole text message thing work and what is happening? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Steins Gate, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see anything else, like any other anime, movie, TV show, put that in the comments as well, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.